One of my original mentors back in 2015, Jim Rohn, had a number of life-changing philosophies. And one of them, he said, the last 6,000 years reads like this. It is opportunities mixed with difficulties. It doesn't matter whether that was last year, whether that was the year before, whether that was 10 years ago. It doesn't matter whether it's next year, whether it's in three years or 10 years. It will always be opportunities mixed with difficulties. And therefore, it means that for things to change for us, for me, for you, we have to change. The outside world will always be the same. We will have difficulties, but there will be opportunities. So in this video, as we go into a brand new year, I wanna share with you two things, two exercises. One is a book that you can read, and two is a workshop that you can go through. Something that I have personally gone through every single year since 2015. It's the same book that I read every year. It's the same workshop that I go through every year. And the reason for them, the reason is it allows me to think about what I may need to change in myself. Because we know that 2024, 2025, we know that the future will be the same. It will be opportunities mixed with difficulties. And therefore, for things to change for us, we have to change. If this is the first time that you see me, please hit that subscribe button, please give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments if you, number one, check out this book, if you've read this book, what your thoughts are on this book, but number two, if you go through the workshop as well, and both of them, I'm gonna have a full book review, as well as the workshop that you can go through in the link in the description down below. The first book, the, the book that I wanna to recommend to you that has had a profound impact, and it's something that I refresh on an annual basis as I go into a brand new year, goal setting year, is U squared, U squared. Now, I do have a full book review on this and the biggest 10 takeaways, but this is an easy to read book it is roughly around about 32, 36 pages. It's a very easy to read book, but it, what it basically is, and the title is U squared, the subtitle is a high velocity formula for multiplying your personal effectiveness in quantum leaps. And he starts with a story, a true story, and it's on his sort of his first pages. And he was basically saying that um, he was um, he was out amongst the pine trees uh, around in and around about um, Toronto, and it was late summer. It was well, it was late July, and he started hearing and he was listening to a, a desperate sounds of life and death struggle that was going on a few feet away from him. And without trying to sort of read the story word for word, but there was essentially, there was a fly, a fly that was in a life and death struggle. It was banging its head against the, uh, against the window, trying to get to the outside world. It was kept on banging its head, using all its energy to get to the outside world. It could see the outside world, but there was a, a, a plane of glass in front of it. And it was, it was doing everything it possibly can to get through. You've seen flies do this. They do this all the time. What was interesting when he was observing this, it was interesting that only around about 10 feet to the side, there was a door open. And the takeaway that he had, and the takeaway that he went into this book with, is the answer may not be to work harder. The answer may not be to try harder. He said that with maybe a fraction of the energy that it was consuming, trying to get through this window that it was never gonna get through, if it had just looked to the side, if it just flew 10 feet to the side, it would have been able to achieve its goal. And it goes on to an, a number of different takeaways and philosophies, but the idea, the idea is all about 
changing your approach. It's about changing your mindset. It's about changing, having a step back. Instead of banging your head up against the window, the wall, trying harder, trying harder, trying harder, it asks you, it prompts you to think differently because quantum leaps are possible. You don't have to do incremental steps from 2023 to 2024, 2024 to 2025, 2025 to 2026. You don't have to do one, two, three, four steps. You don't have to go A, B, C, D, E in steps. You can go one, two, 10. You can do A, B, E, right? You can make quantum leaps forward. How can you do that? You can do that by many times thinking differently. You can do that many times by thinking outside the box. And interestingly, what he said was whenever you do experience a quantum leap in your life, your business, your health and fitness, your relationships, any part of your life, usually in retrospect, when you're reviewing what you have achieved, what you have done, if you've experienced the quantum leap after the fact, you'll look back and it will seem simple. It will seem logical. It will seem like, why didn't I see that before? So that is why that this book is always a really, really interesting book. It really opens your insights, your mind to um, thinking differently, knowing that quantum leaps are possible. So I encourage you, one of the calls to action is check out the full book review that I, um, the 10 top takeaways that I got. Um, check out the book. Uh, you can obviously get the book on Kindle or um, physical copy. I, I do... I do prefer the physical copy, especially uh, this time of year. It's a book that I've read every single year uh, since 2015, and I will continue to read it every single year into the future. The second um, thing that I do is go through what I call the ultimate life and business goal setting workshop. It's a, it's a life planning workshop. And this is something that I originally did back in 2015 as well. I then recreated it and I took some things that worked for me, uh, worked for me personally, and I added some things um, that uh, also worked for me. I've got the full guided workshop down below as well that you can check out. It's roughly around about 30 to 45 minutes. It, it is a guided process. And one of the things that I absolutely loved about it is it made, so to share a couple of the steps throughout it, whenever you're gonna go into a brand new year, whenever you go into a brand new year, what you always want to do is before you do any type of goal setting, before you do any type of planning for the following year, you want to have an ultimate vision Okay, an ultimate vision for your life. Like, what is it that you actually want to, to do? I call that the age 100, the rocking chair test, right? That is, imagine yourself in 2069, okay? You are 99 years old. Imagine that tomorrow is your 100th birthday. You have been on this earth for 100 years. And imagine... It is a wonderful, warm, hot summer's day, and you are maybe by the fire, the sun is setting, and you have your children, you have your grandchildren, you may have your great-grandchildren, and they're all around. You've got 10, 15, you've got 30, 30 of your most treasured people, the people that you truly love, and they sit around to celebrate you a hundred years on this earth. And they ask one simple question. They say, granddad, grandma, nana, whatever you called, tell us the story of your life. Tell us the story of 100 years of your life. And they all lean in because they're excited. They wanna know what you've done. They wanna know your story. And if 
you close your eyes and you think about that, if you think about, imagine that as an experience. Imagine you telling your story of a hundred years. Well, back in year 2000, back in 2010, back in 2024, we were going into a brand new year with hopes and dreams and we were going to be bold. We were going to have courage. And we wanted to set on this mission. We wanted to set on this path. And you go through, you tell the stories, you tell the, the ups and downs, you tell the struggles, you tell the challenges, the difficulties, you tell the opportunities, the successes. And you tell the story and they're inspired. They're motivated. They can see a hundred years through your eyes. Now imagine that written down as a paragraph. Imagine what that story is for you. I believe everybody, my big recommendation would be to have that as a guiding North Star. That is the story that you will tell. Once you've got that, it should energize you. It should make you emotional. It should make you feel the emotions of imagine telling that story. You always start with that. The second thing that you start with as you go into this workshop, and I go through the guided process of this, is you think back over the last 12 months, 24 months, you think back over the last five years, and you pick out a number, three, five, five things that you can be incredibly grateful for, that five things that may have happened that have changed the course of your life. If you think about that and go, if I had not taken that turn, I wouldn't have met the love of my life. If I hadn't have met that person, I wouldn't have started this business. If I hadn't have experienced this, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. And you're going into a workshop with hopes and dreams of the stories you will tell, but also the belief that you've done some incredible things in your life already. You've, ex you've, you've achieved, you've overcome, you've created, you've built, you've done things already that once upon a time, you were sat maybe where you are today and you thought, I don't know how to do this. I don't know what my next step is. And you did it. It was you through your will, through your skills, through your talent, through your relentlessness, through your ability to take massive action and never give up. And you did it. Now what you're doing is you're going into a goal setting workshop with the hopes and dreams as well as the courage, the belief that once upon a time where you are today, it was only a dream. Once upon a time where you are today, you thought it wasn't possible. Where once upon a time where you are today, going into a brand new year, you thought was not gonna be possible for you, but you made it happen. Then you go into this goal setting workshop knowing that as we go through this very exciting workshop, the things that you want to achieve in the next 10, 20 years, the goals, where do you want to go? What do you want to build? What do you want to experience? The, in your business, in your, your relationships, in your family, in your lifestyle, in your hobbies, in the skills that you want to learn, everything that you want to do from travel to, I want to go to that restaurant, I want to experience this, I want to do that, I want to do this. Do everything that you possibly can. You have the biggest bucket list. And then you refine that into, this is what I'm committed to over the next 12 months. And you go into a brand new year, a brand new year, ready to take massive action. And I always, it always comes with a warning. This workshop, it creates massive action takers. So I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you're very excited for a brand new year. The year 
that will come with difficulties, but it will come with opportunities. And this is the time, more than anything in the, we've maybe experienced in the recent past, with all the difficulties of the world, all the difficulties that we've faced, this is the time to go into a brand new year, to take massive action every day, to rise from wherever you are, to make it happen. My name's Kev, inspiring you every single day to keep taking massive action, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. The links are in the description, comment down below, let me know what your thoughts are when you've gone through the workshop, when you've read the book, and as always, keep taking massive action.